All right, so today we're going to be learning about dilations. All right, so dilations, if you could put a definition on it uh, in geometry, is when you your shape is going to change size. So the shape won't change. The shape is still going to be a triangle, still going to be a square, but the shape is going to change size. Okay, so the word dilate means to essentially change its size. So it's going to either grow or it's going to shrink. Okay, so the word dilate up there at the top for number one, I underlined it right there. It means to grow or to shrink. Now the next word says by three. So when it's by three, what I'm really trying to say is, is that it's going to be our scale factor. Is it going to grow or is it going to shrink? So if the number is greater than one, as you see I've written there, it's going to grow, meaning my shape is going to get bigger. If my number is less than one, so typically it's a fraction like one-half, one-fourth, or even something like five-eighths, uh, it's going to shrink. So in this case, we're dilating by three, so that means my triangle that I have written here is going to grow. And then there's the next part that says center A. So center A means that is the center of our dilation. So from that point, my triangle is going to get bigger or smaller. I kind of like thinking of it like a projector. Imagine point A was like the projector, like in a classroom or in some type of business setting, where the image, that's where it starts, but then you project it from the projector and it hits the screen. Now the projector itself is what, about two feet big? But the image, the image becomes four or five feet big. So it starts small from the center, but then it grows and it projects onto the screen. So center A is where everything is going to grow from. And the important thing about the center is that point does not move. The other points on the shape will move, but center A is the only point that will not move during my dilation. So what I like to do to remember that is to circle it on my paper. I always like to circle it. That's my center. That's where I'm going to start. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do, looking at my graph, we need to know how long the sides of the triangle are. So I'm going to count. Let's start with AC. So the segment AC, according to my graph, it's three units big. So I counted, there it is. So it's three units big, so when I dilate by three, what it means is I'm going to multiply my unit length, three, and by, multiply it by my scale factor, which is three. So three times three equals nine. So my new segment length for AC Instead of three is going to be nine. So I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then when I move in my point, notice how C has grown from three to nine. So C changes the C prime. Remember in geometry, whenever I move something, we change it to prime. All right, now let's look at BC. If I count, BC is four units long. So, just like last time, I take 4 and multiply it by my scale factor, which is 3. So, 4 times 3 will equal 12. So, from my new point C, so CB, that used to be 4, CB is now going to be 12. So, I count 12, I put my new dot, and again, B moved, so I call my new B, B prime. Now, I don't need to do the diagonal because I already have the other two sides. I know that I just need to connect A and B now. So I connect those, there's my beautiful triangle, and notice how this new triangle is the same shape as my old triangle, it's just obviously a lot bigger. And again, A did not move, so A and A prime are essentially the same point. So A prime and A, remember A was my center, didn't move, and then I had B and then C using my dilation of three.